Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for an introduction to pharmacology. In this quiz, we'll simply review some of the basic principles and terminology for pharmacology, and I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Starting off with question number one, identify the generic name in the following medication order, and the order is acetaminophen Tylenol 650mg POQID. And for each question, I'll leave a few seconds for you to pause and think about the answer. So A, acetaminophen, is the right answer here. It is the generic name, which always stays the same. B, Tylenol, is an example of a brand name, which is just a name given to acetaminophen that a company then sells as their own brand of the drug. C, 650 milligrams, is the dose of the medication, and D, PO, is the route of administration. PO stands for oral administration. And moving on to question number two, which of the following describes the first pass effect? This one is definitely a little bit more difficult. The first pass effect describes the fact that the concentration of a drug can be greatly reduced when given by the oral route. This is because when you take a medication orally, a lot of it gets metabolized by the liver and gut prior to reaching the intended site. This reduces the concentration of the medication in the body. And so because of the first pass effect, the answer is D. Drugs administered by oral routes require larger doses to compensate for the increase in drug metabolism by the liver. Question number three, the primary organ responsible for drug elimination from the body is or are the? And the answer here is C, the kidneys. The kidneys are primarily responsible for drug elimination. The kidneys are the main way that drugs eventually leave the body via the urine, while the liver is primarily responsible for drug metabolism. Question 4. The blank of a drug is the time after administration until initial response to the drug. The answer here is A. Onset. So for example, if the onset of a specific type of insulin is about 15 minutes, then you will expect to see the effects of the insulin after 15 minutes of administration. That is, the patient's blood sugar level will start going down after 15 minutes. And we'll go over the rest of these options and what they mean in the next questions. Question number five, the blank of a drug is the total time of sufficient drug concentration to elicit therapeutic response. The answer here is D, duration, and the key is the total time of sufficient drug concentration. For example, if the duration of a specific type of insulin is 24 hours, then you will expect to see the results of the insulin, the lowered blood sugar, for a total of 24 hours after administration. Question 6. The blank of a drug is the time required for a drug to reach its maximum therapeutic response. And the answer here is B, peak, and the key is the maximum therapeutic response. For example, if the peak of a specific insulin is one hour, then the maximum therapeutic response of the insulin, when the drug is at its strongest, will be seen after one hour of administration. That's the peak. And question seven, the blank of a drug is the time required for the concentration of the drug to be reduced by one half. This one should be a little bit easier. The answer here is C, half-life. It kind of gives it away in the name. For example, if the half-life of a specific drug is 12 hours, then the concentration of the drug will be reduced by one half after 12 hours of administration. So if 10 milligrams of this drug is administered, we can expect that approximately five milligrams of medication would remain in the patient's system after 12 hours. And then after another 12 hours, that would be down to 2.5 milligrams, and so on. And moving on to question number eight, which of the following is a function of serum albumin? The answer here is A. Drugs can bind to serum albumin, affecting the drug's rate of distribution slash diffusion throughout the body. The rationale here is that serum albumin acts as a drug carrier in the blood. It helps to regulate how quickly a drug may be released or distributed. Question 9. Which of the following drug administration routes has the fastest rate of absorption? And that would be B. 
intravenous or IV. Drugs administered via the intravenous route have the fastest rate of absorption because they enter the bloodstream immediately. The next quickest on this list is intramuscular, followed by subcutaneous, and oral is the last or slowest. Question number 10. To counteract the effects of a specific drug overdose, use a... And the answer here is B, an antidote. An antidote of a drug will help reverse or counteract the effects of a given drug. For example, the antidote to the drug warfarin is vitamin K, which reduces the effects of warfarin. A, anticholinergic, and D, beta blocker are examples of drug classifications, and C, inhaler is not related. And our last question for this quiz, number 11, which of the following is not one of the 10 rights of drug administration? The right answer here is B, right attitude. The key to this question is which of the following is not one of the 10 rights, and A, C, and D are all part of the 10 rights of drug administration that must be followed when giving medications. The right attitude is not part of this list. And that's it for our first Introduction to Pharmacology quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.